So guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. Now, it's very different from what I usually upload, and this is because it's FIFA Mobile. Before I get into the video, I want to say thank you to Electronic Arts for inviting me out to San Francisco. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to upload this video, and it's nice to actually change up my content. There's going to be lots of different content coming to the channel over the next few weeks, and probably this is going to continue for the rest of my channel's time. Now, if you guys do enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, I recommend leaving a like for it and uh, subscribing for future content. Probably the near next piece of content will probably be a vlog of my time over in San Francisco at EA, which is pretty amazing. Now, in this pack opening you are seeing, I'm opening up the Scream Team bundle. I had 5,000 FIFA points to spend, and uh, that was obviously given to me by EA, so I'd like to say thank you for that. Without them, I wouldn't have been able to do this video. Now, I am getting some pretty cool packs here. The team I have is a starting team. I opened two Scream Team bundles, and then I believe I opened some Pro Pack bundles. Now, the reason why the commentary is not live is pretty much for the fact that I couldn't record live whilst I was there. Because there was a lot of people there, it would have made a lot of noise, and it would have been pretty pointless in my eyes. But uh, for me, this is pretty cool. I play FIFA for a lot. Um, I've played it for ages, I think dating back to maybe FIFA 11. Um, I missed out on FIFA 10, but yeah, from FIFA 11, I was actually playing FIFA. I love Ultimate Team, and the fact they brought this to mobile is pretty amazing. Currently, my console pack luck isn't too good, but I like to say my mobile pack luck is pretty sweet. Now, in this pack opening, this is not a player that I did pack. I actually managed to pack Sané, the Elite, 86 rated, I believe he was. He went for 150k, and unfortunately, I was not recording. That's typical for me for that to happen. Wasn't recording somehow. I didn't uh, get that on camera, which is kind of unfortunate. But in this pack, I know for a fact I do get a decent Elite. I do open a Scream Team bundle, and by the looks of things, I open a Pro Pack bundle, and then I open one more Scream Team bundle. So, you can see from here, we're actually getting not too great ratings at the moment. But I'm sure there's an elite player about to pop up sooner than later. So, we're getting Dai there, who's 77 rated. That's not too bad, considering how low a lot of the ratings are this year. I think I packed Danny Alves when I wasn't recording, and he went for, he was a 79 rating. So, it's pretty low. I know I packed Kante as well. He was the Scream Team Kante, and I packed him. I think he was 79 rated as well. We get Jeffrey Schlup. 70 rated there i'm just waiting for that elite card to pop up because i was quite happy with it now it probably wasn't the best one we actually packed whilst recording i know someone uh, i can't exactly say his name out on it because i'm sure he doesn't want him mentioned at the moment but there we go actually we get schweinsteiger as our elite card there it looks pretty nice card 80 rated now considering the fact he's not even playing at the moment i'd say that rating for him is pretty damn sweet but uh yeah Funny, actually, because he actually plays for the same team as uh, one of the players that was packed whilst we was doing a little recording session. Now, the player that was packed was an 83-rated Pogba. That was pretty crazy. I don't know how much Pogba's worth. Maybe he's worth more than that Sané item, uh, Sané item I packed. I really don't know, but it's quite interesting. Considering the way that FIFA's going this year, they've got so many different packs going on. And uh, it's, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. So, as you see there, that was the team I had at the start. I uh, didn't have many items going on, but I've got Swinesteiger there. And then I've also got another Scream Team bundle. So that's two Scream Team bundles I get. Now, it's, it seems to me the player I was getting frequently was uh, Jones from the MLS. We get m &EK there for a lot of people that used to do sweaty squads back in the FIFA. Well, I think it was FIFA 13 days. There you go. Jones again. The special trickle treat, Jones. It's kind of unfortunate how many times I've packed him. I'm sure there's one more player that I've packed. At the end, it should show you how many I've packed. So, like, I've packed so many. we got got Gomez there with the net in the background. Now, I did wonder, considering I'm new to this, um, I did wonder if that was a special card, but I thought, no, maybe not. We get Vanderberg there. I think that was the other player that we was getting a stupid amount of duplicates with. But uh, that was a pretty nice pack. We get 77, 74. I think there was another 74 in that pack and a 70. So, that was... Not, not not a bad pack. It's no Paul Pogba, and it's no Swinesteiger Elite, but it's not too bad at all. 5,000 FIFA points isn't too bad to get those sort of players. I know for a fact that sort of helped the team. We get Sam Boozer there, um, another Halloween special screen player, 79 rated. Um, it's quite interesting for me. I started to play the skill games. I was getting used to them. It's, I think, personally, 
It's a lot better to be playing when I'm on the go. I don't really play it at home because I pretty much sweat out FIFA 17. You guys have to let me know if you'd like to see some FIFA 17 videos. I'll probably bring out some pack openings nearer the time. I don't really want to do any for Halloween. Um, I might do them maybe around Christmas time or something like that. But we get Wendell there. He's a quality left back on the console version and he is another Halloween pack. Finish it all off, we get a Scream Team topper. Now I wonder who we get in that. We get Wendell as well. And we get Kante. So that wasn't bad at all. I would have thought we would have got a trick or treat token, but no. Kante and Wendell, two Halloween items. And there is the players we got. So pretty much, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have done, leave a like on it. Subscribe for future videos like this and subscribe for future content. And once again, I'd like to say thank you to EA. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do this video, and it's very much appreciated. So, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys, as always, in the next video.